guys are watching NFL Daily. I am Tom Downey. It is mailbag time here on Chat Sports, and you should know the drill by now. If you want to get on the show, then you got to be subscribed. Otherwise, you're just going to miss out on all the great content we have here, including our live shows at Chat Sports. First up from Fight the Skillet, Colts draft needs. Um... Let me check their free agency list here real quick to start. I, I mean, I doubt they're going to go after a quarterback, so take that off the board. I think receivers got to be high up there. You got Michael Pittman and T.Y. Hilton's a free agent. Zach Pascal's a free agent. Uh, I think offensive line's up there. Eric Fisher's a free agent. Mark uh, Glowinski's a free agent as well. Got to look that route. Defensively. And I think you've got some corners who are free agents again. Xavier Rhodes, TJ Carey, who's a bit more of a, of a backup guy for you. Yeah. Um, I love Kenny Moore at nickel, but you probably want some more outside help. Although maybe um, maybe Isaiah Rodgers is a piece for you long term. You don't need a corner. Could be an option. Uh, maybe you try edge again. You kind of missed on some of your early day two, day three picks. From the past master, could Carolina or Pitt be dark horses for Russell Wilson? Yeah, I think so. Um, Steelers in a franchise QB, and let's be real here, Sam Darnold sucks. So I think that the Panthers should be heavily involved in trying to find a way to get an upgrade at quarterback because if you roll back with Darnold next year, it's just not going to work, guys. I'm sorry. From Jerry Judge, Joe's cousin, uh, Tua didn't look good against the Titans of the Dolphins trade for Deshaun Watts in the offseason. Let's start with Tua here. There's no way around it. He sucked against Tennessee. Throwing a fumble here as well. Missing throws that he normally makes on the run. Two yards short in the dirt. 8.0 QBR. He was bad. No way around it. He was bad. Now, I don't think that should negate the entirety of his NFL season, but clearly Miami, somebody high up in that org, isn't sold on Tua. So if they can get Deshaun... Something tells me they'll be right back in the mix trying to get him if the off-the-field stuff is cleared. So where will Deshaun Watson play next year? These trade rumors will be back once the season wraps up officially. So where will Watson play in 2021? Son, God, you think Myers, I think you mean Urban Meyer. He'll be back in the NFL. God, no. He, he didn't work, man. It was a disaster. What went right for Urban Meyer in Jacksonville? Answer, nothing. Can't do it. From AS, because I can't pronounce that. I don't want to insult you by botching it hardcore. Will Bryce Young be a top three pick? I think probably. I think he and CJ Stroud are your early favorites to be quarterback one next year. I like Young a little bit more than I like Stroud because that OSC receiving course is stupid. But Bam is solid, but OSU might have four or five first-round picks playing right now, which is obscene. I like Stroud. Uh, I do think Bryce Young will be an early draft pick. His O-line was not that good this year for Alabama. I think top three is the expectation entering this year. Sometimes that ends up not being the case. Looking at you, Spencer Rattler. Fried Rice, thoughts on Tyler Goodson, the Iowa running back, a.k.a. Spin Shady. I like him. Uh, I think Probably day two late, more likely early day three. We'll see how his, his measurables stack up. Um, I like Tyler Goodson a lot. Um, I think he's a good running back. I think his numbers weren't great because Iowa's offense is indicative of not high efficiency on the ground, plus his quarterback was Cheeks. So I like him. I think he'll be a draft pick and have a nice NFL career. From Otto Octavius, Antonio Brown of the Saints. No, no. I know the Saints are bad at receiver. You can't bring in A.B., man. Why would you think it would work? How many chances does one guy get for being a screw-up? He was a disaster in the Steelers, in the Raiders, at the Patriots, and the Bucs. It's 0 for 4. It's not going to change. He's going to be the same guy he's been. It's just not going to work. Full stop, and I'm sorry. What I think you might see A.B. do next is go box against Jake Paul. There are already betting odds out there for Antonio Brown versus Jake Paul. A.B. is plus 200, which, eh, it's rigged anyway. Who would win in a fight, though? A.B. for Jake Paul 
JP or AB for Antonio Brown, JP for Jake Paul. I'm like the I'm like the opposite of Ron Burgundy. I read the wrong thing. AB, JP, get those votes in in the comments section. Chat Sports has free videos for you guys every single day. NFL, NFL draft, free agency, trades, plus NBA, college football, and the occasional MLB as well. If you want that all for free, then subscribe right now. From Shadow, do you expect any upsets in the postseason? This year has been a massive, massive parody-based season. So, yeah, I think so. Now, I want to see what the situation looks like matchup-wise before I make my predictions, but I would be surprised if there weren't any upsets this year. From Mr. 83, who should the Cowboys draft in round one? Um, I think you should end up going with either a safety or an offensive lineman, maybe edge an area of need. I don't want to go off-ball linebacker, but there will be some good guys this year for you. I think it depends on who you lose in free agency in the end. From Commander, should the Vikings hire Brian Dable? I would love that hire. I think Dable deserves a shot as an NFL head coach. I think he's done a good job in Buffalo. Yeah, their ground game isn't great. I think that is more acknowledgement of their personnel and their talent versus just refusing to run the football. He is a Saban and a Belichick stable set success outside of those two coaching trees. I think he'd be a great head coach candidate. So who do you think will be the Vikings head coach in 2022? Is it Dable? Somebody else altogether? Let me know who you think it is in the comments section. If it, it, it's a new year, if you want a new jersey, now's the right time. Under $90, some of them for your favorite NFL team over at chatsports.com slash jersey deal. Not every single player is available, but a pretty good selection for whoever you cheer for. So check it out today, chatsports.com slash jersey deal. I'll put that link in both the comment section and in the description. From Tyler Dow, does Chase or Mac Jones win Offensive Rookie of the Year? Mac Jones has been great. It's got to be Jamar Chase. It, don't laugh, Jack. You know I'm right. He Even super Mac Jones fan, producer Jack agrees, it's Jamar Chase. His production, it's obscene. Jamar Chase, by the way, was the correct pick for the Bengals. R.I.P. the Panay Sewell pick, who also has been great for the Lions, just so we're clear, but it's got to be Jamar Chase. Kemper is flying. The Chiefs are going to get the number one seed. I don't think they will. All the Titans have to do is beat Houston on Sunday. Houston's been a feisty little team, but I think the Chiefs win that game. Oh, the Titans win that game. Chiefs win too, but Titans get the number one seed. All-out Broncos, 18-58. Chargers or Raiders? Mitchell Renz out there? No, he's not. Okay, I can say it in peace. Uh, I think the Chargers win that game. I, I just, I think I'm going to go with the better quarterback there. I don't fully trust the Raiders yet. I think it's going to be a fantastic game all the way down to the wire. I give the Raiders a lot of credit for battling through all the adversity they've had this year, but I'll pick the Chargers on the road. Tucker Carl, is Lamar worth a $40 million Della? I know you mean deal. <laughs> That's a good question, isn't it? Um, Lamar is, I believe, a franchise quarterback. The going rate for a franchise quarterback is that figure. Can you get the guarantee money down lower? Maybe. Huntley's been decent, but let's be real. He's not as good as Lamar Jackson. Let's not be stupid here, guys. Um, I worry about the injuries long term. Been most healthy until this year. It's expensive, but your alternative is going from a team always in the playoffs. I think with Lamar, they would have made it this year despite a massive amount of injuries. And if Huntley ends up regressing, well, now you're screwed. So I think you kind of got to do it. If you do it now, though, in two or three years, it's not even going to be a top five quarterback deal, and you'll feel better about it. So what do you think? Is Lamar Jackson worth $40 million? Why for yes and for no? I think the answer is yes, but I think we'll see plenty of no's in there as well. Let me know what you guys say in the comments. 
from Mason. How can Cincy get the number one seed? So we broke this down, our playoff picture video, but I'll recap it here real quick. They get it with a win, a Titans loss, a Chiefs loss, and either a Bills win or a Patriots loss, a.k.a. Bills win the division, Chiefs and Titans both lose. Not going to happen. Um, I don't think that's a path realistically for Cincy, so enjoy, enjoy the, uh, the, the AFC North title. Well earned. Jaden Salfer, thoughts on Trayvon Walker and Hassan Haskins. So Walker is the other Georgia defensive lineman. They've got multiple potential early round picks on that Georgia defensive line. A bit of a tweener build. Um, I think he's a pretty damn good prospect. Is he a lock first rounder? I'm not sure, but maybe. I think he's in that conversation mid to late round one if he does decide to go pro. Haskins, probably in that grouping of day two, day three backs. If he goes to the right spot, I think he can have a very, very productive NFL career. Walker, though, is the better prospect of the two. Rashard Lee, Cowboys draft needs. Um, look, receiver, if Michael Gallup is gone slash not healthy, I think you got to look at uh, offensive line, left guard and center with your free agents and Connor Williams. McGovern's not your guy. Tight end if you lose Schultz. Uh, linebacker, defensive end if Gregory and or Lawrence are gone. And safety with all your free agents as well. Oh, kicker, but don't touch kick kickers early, please. Take a look. Can the Giants fire Joe Judge? Can they? Yes. Should they? Yes. Will they? I don't know. Uh, that organization seems to really like Joe Judge, which I don't think is the right decision, to be honest. But what do you think? What should the Giants do with Joe Judge? FJ, or fire Joe Judge, or KJ, for keep Judge? 